Hello, social media house. This is Arielle, and we are on week eight. If you've skipped some of the weeks or got a little bit overwhelmed throughout this course, I want you to not skip week eight. Week eight and getting this piece of your social media strategy and your online strategy right and firing regularly and consistently will be the difference between you making some money and more than some money, I promise you. Newsletters. Newsletters are critical and crucial and important. They are actually the most important piece of what you're doing online. Many of you probably have a newsletter list. You've got a newsletter sign up. We talked about that certainly when we talked about your website and where you should put the what's in it for me bribe. We talked about it again in Facebook where you want to have the newsletter sign up button on the fan page. And we've pretty much talked about newsletters in every single week of this course. But I want you to understand this. Newsletters, even though people are totally overwhelmed, they don't open their email. Newsletters, even though you think you might be overwhelming or exhausting your fan base or customer base by over communicating with them are still the number one thing that will put money directly in your pocket. Why? Because in a newsletter, you can put a direct call to action asking for a sale. The other reason why it is crucial and important to build your newsletter list ties directly into the final week, which I can't believe it is next week, where we're going to talk about fan funding um, or crowdfunding um, and newsletters are the cornerstone of that. So in this, uh, in this whirlwind of a PowerPoint, we're going to talk about newsletter service providers, who's good, how to do it, how to sign up. We're going to talk about why you should be paying for a newsletter service provider. This is key. And we are also going to go into open rates, how to track effective open rates and what your percentages should be. That means how many people are opening your newsletter. And then we're going to talk about coming up with interesting and relevant themes for your newsletter so you don't feel like you're carnival barking or just selling or saying irrelevant things once a month as you begin to implement a better newsletter strategy than the one you already have. So roll up your sleeves, it's time to dive into newsletters.